We are now working in grade six. This is G.3, unit prices with fractions and decimals. We've got a couple examples here we're going to run through. And now we, they give us the unit price, and they say we're buying this much of that stuff. So this is straight up multiplication. Uh, so we're going to just run through this pretty quickly. So let's look at this first one on the left. 2.2 pounds of white beads. So we want the white beads, so we find white beads here, and it's $6 per pound. So this is 2.2 times 6. 6 times 2 is 12. 6 times 2 should still be 12. 2, 2 plus 1 is 3. And now, I've got a decimal here, but I say, well, 2 times 6 is $12-ish. So I know I've got to have a decimal right there. And we make it dollar-friendly, dollars... $13.20 per cent. So, again, some estimation is going to help here and some quick multiplication. So, let's look at this. It's now got three quarters of a pound of cumin. So, we find the cumin price, it's $9 a pound. So, we can do this a couple of different ways. Three fourths, hopefully, you know, is 0 0.75. So, this is going to be 75 times 9. That's one way. We could say three fourths times 9, which is 27 fourths. Multiply fractions straight across. That would be a division problem. And I said before, this is straight up multiplication, so it's up to you. Let's do it with the multiplication, see what we get, and then check it with the short division. So 9 times 5 is 45. 9 times 7 is 63. So again, we always write it as a two-digit, shifting over one uh, column each time, and then we add 5, 4 plus 3 is 7, and 6. So I know, let's see, this is just a little bit under a dollar, times 9, should be under $9, but not 67 cents, so we've got to put our decimal right here, $6.75. Let's take a look at this short division. Four, uh, yeah, it doesn't go in evenly, so we're going to need some extra zeros here. 4 goes into 27, 6 times with 3 left over. 4 goes into 30, 7 times with 2 left over, and 4 goes into 20, 5 times. So notice we have the exact same answer, $6.75. Again, this is straight up multiplication. We're going to do some more. All right, so now we have both des or fractions here. So now this gets a little more complicated because we've got 1 and 1 half, so we just want to convert that to 1.5 as a decimal. Much easier to multiply. Uh, in this case, pepperoni. So we've got this. Now we're going to use a little bit different method. With 1.5, we have a few different ways we can do it. We can take 112 times 1 and 112 times 5, knowing that this 1 is really a 10 and throw a 0 on at the end. So I know this is going to be 1, 1, 2, 0. That's not so bad. 5 times 2 is 10. 5 times 1 is 0, 5. 5 times 1 is 0, 5, 0, 6, 5. And we just say 5, 6, 0, and we can add 0, 8, 6, 1. So, this is going to be, so again, we, we've ignored our decimals. We've converted this to a 1 and a 5. But we know it's not $16.80 because we're just getting less than 2 pounds. So it should be around $2 and something at, at, if we bought 2 pounds. So we know it's going to be a dollar sixty-eight. So that's one way. But I also think, well, I don't like multiplying by 0.5s, but if I double this, that's 3. 3 is pretty easy to multiply. But if I double this side, I've got to take half of this one, which is 56 cents. So 3 times 56, 3 times 6 is 18, 3 times 5 is 15, 8, 6, and 1, and sure enough, we have with the exact same answer. So that's a little bit more complicated, and it only really works with 0.5 numbers, 1.5, 2.5, and you double one side and take the other half. That's a little more complicated. This is the one I prefer, breaking the decimal into two digits and multiplying them separately, adding the zero as needed. So let's take a look at this one. We got four point, ooh, well, four and seven tenths is 4.7. Of rye bread, we find the rye here, and that's four pounds. So, 4.7 times 
times 4. And we then, 4 times 7 is 28. 4 times 4, 16. 8, 8, 1. So we have to, again, do some estimation. So I get $4 per pound. We've got right around 5 pounds. So it should be around $20, which means my decimal has to fit right in there. So $18.80. Went through these pretty quickly, but this is multiplication. Let's do one more set. We've got 1.6 kilos of navel oranges. We find our navel oranges, it's a dollar ninety. So I've got 1.6 times $1.90, but I like to ignore my decimals. And this is a pretty handy thing that we should know how with the times tables. So I can do this up quickly. 9 plus 16 is 25. That's really 250. 9 times 6 is 54. This is 250 and 54, or 304. Well, I know it's about $2 a kilo, and I'm getting just about 2 so it should be around $4 at the most, which means it's got to be $3.04. So again, here's a handy little trick for multiplying numbers up to 19 times 19 coming into play here. And this last one, they've thrown two things at you. We want 2.1 kilos of the Golden Wonder and 2.8 kilos of the Russet Burbank, which means we just have to multiply them and add. So we have 2.1 times the Golden Wonder, which is 8, and 2.8 times the Russet Burbank, which is ooh, 155. That one's not a pretty one. So let's take it, we'll take that one in a second. So 8 times 1 is 8, 8 times 2 is 16, 168. Now, again, 2 kilos at just under a dollar per kilo means we're going to have about $2 worth of golden, so this has to be 168. That's our estimation skills. Coming. And this one we're going to break apart. We're going to take this 155 times 2, 155 times 8. Again, we take these numbers and we break them apart. 2 times 5 is 10. 2 times 5 is 10, 2 times 1 is 0, 2, 0, 1, 3. And then we've got to throw that 0 on at the end, because remember, it's not really 2 we're multiplying, but it's 20. And then this one, we say, all right, 8 times 5 is 40, 8 times 5 should still be 40, 8 times 1 is 0, 8, always a two-digit number, 0, 4, 4 plus 8 is 12, which is there side 1. So we have 1240 and 3100, so 1240. So we have 0 here, 4, 3, and erase this. Ran out of room down there at the bottom. And 3 plus 1 is 4. So we've got now, here's the question. Is this $43, $434? Well, we got about 3 kilos at $1.50 a kilo. So even this word, that's going to be around $4.50. Well, so that means we've got to have $4.34. Don't forget, we've got to add our $1.68 back in. So 8 plus 4 is 12. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 4, 5, 6. Six dollars and two cents. This is the most complicated one because they've thrown two different values at you, one of which had a three digit number in it. So we multiplied, ignoring the decimals, for the first value. The second one, because it, we had two digits in our uh, multiplier, we had to break that apart, remembering to add the zero at the bottom because it's not multiplied by two but times 20.